month for Mariano's Tastemakers, we're here with Chef Tony Priolo from Piccolo Sogno and Piccolo Sogno Due. We're gonna be up in the kitchen reinventing grandmother's classic bolognese sauce recipe. We are gonna do a classic Italian dish, bolognese sauce, and I wanted to know what you pick for canned tomatoes, and Mariano's has such a huge, huge variation. They have a great selection of uh, San Marzano tomatoes. These are La Bella San Marzano. And do you pick the whole ones? Yeah, and then and you just crush mash them? By them? Hand. Crush them by hand. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> with pastas, you can pair anything, but I wanted to see what you put with your bolognese sauce. Yeah, I like a little short tubular one. I like this brand because it's uh, in the area where the flour is the best, where they grow the wheat, and also the uh, bronze cut. And you can see that there's more lines in the pasta, so the sauce sticks to the pasta. The basis of bolognese is a bunch of ground meats, yeah. but your secret ingredient is uh, chicken livers. Yeah, I like to add a little bit of chicken livers into with uh, veal, pork, and beef. And that many stores have chicken liver, so that's the best thing. I know a little secret that you love, yeah, Mariano's Bakery chocolate too. chocolate chip cookies with the butter and the cherries, unbelievable. Do you pick these up all the time? I have to have them in my cupboard. Yeah. You do? Yep. And then I know we have to grab bread. Any chance I can have a uh, artisan rosemary pugliese loaf? Yes, thank you. You were actually part of creating the Mariano's pizza sauce. Is that something that you have on the menu at your restaurant? No, I restaurants? grew up making them, so now I don't have to make them. I buy them at the store. You come back home. here and get them. Thank you. Thank you. So we're gonna get started with the actual sauce now, yeah, we're right? Yeah, some bolognese. Okay, I'm super excited to see frito. how you make your sauce. So I gotta start with a little sofrito. In the meantime, you can crush up some of the tomatoes. Okay, so I'm gonna get dirty, right? Yeah, well, right. I'll just take a quick dice of celery. I'll take a few ribs. We're just gonna chop it up really fine. We're gonna do something my grandmother used to always do. They didn't have food processors back then, so you used to take the carrots and, and grate them. You want them to melt and marry into the sauce. You don't want them to be big, big chunks. I'll take a little bit of garlic, okay. smash a little bit, salt on top. And we're just what to kind mash of sea it up. salt? Sicilian sea salt. Here I'm adding a little olive oil. We have this great Sicilian olive oil. Back to Mariano's. Sicily again. I'm Sicilian, so I gotta I got keep giving it I back. I love that, yeah. And we're going to put in the carrot, celery, and onions. And, and I'm look. still crushing tomatoes over yeah. here. And then we're gonna add a little bit of the garlic, okay. and we'll go ahead and stir that up. Anytime I add an ingredient to a pan, I add salt, because salt extracts. So we add salt, you season as you go when you're making any kind of recipe. Up. Equal parts of pork, beef, and veal. A half a pound of each one. Before you put the meat inside, we're gonna season. So when you're adding the meat, you kinda just wanna break it up in pieces. It's gonna marry all together. You wanna go ahead and stir it all up. up. A black pepper, and you wanna brown it but you don't want to burn it. So one of the great things about bolognese, this isn't really a sauce that you can kind of mess up. You can kind of add broth, you can add wine. Well, you can mess it up, for sure. But <laughs> yeah, it just depends on what your grandmother did and her grandmother did. It also depends on how creative you are, too. We're going to add a little bit of chicken livers. It's not going to add so much flavor or texture, and it'll break up in pieces. You smell those great flavors? Oh, it smells fantastic already. Yeah. So is this your favorite version of the Yeah, this is a, one of my favorites. And your put, wife's favorite? Yeah, she likes this, yeah. I yeah. think that's why she married me. <laughs> you want know the Yeah. See <laughs> yeah, how everything is cooked down, the meat is brown? Yes. Let's go ahead and get the tomato and we'll pour the okay. tomato in. So we'll take this and bring it to a boil and then we'll let it stew really slow. So we'll turn the sauce down to a simmer. Put we'll a little lid on it. And we'll let it cook for a couple hours. All right. We can in the open meantime, up. we'll cook some pasta. And we'll add the pasta in the water. Right. So we just want to give it a quick stir. Okay. And we want to cook it seven to, seven to nine minutes. Quick. All right, so now the pasta is done. You don't throw it against the wall. That's <laughs> all the food. When you pour it, pour it slow. You never want to rinse pasta. Slowly pour that in. We're ready to take some sauce and we'll mix them inside. Look at smell that. that. Mix it up. Okay, then we'll go ahead and give this a little taste to make sure that the seasoning. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Is it good? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I always like when I'm with a chef and he says, that's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Look at how gorgeous that is already. Cheers. Salute. Thank you. Now right. oh, you got to try this. This is awesome. Mm. Oh. Right. oh my gosh. It's so good. Thank you so much. Yeah, perfect. For sharing bon your recipe. We're taking another bite. Yeah, bon appetito. Mm -hmm.